Welcome to Framework Fortune. I'm your host Ben and in this video I'm going to go over my Thinkorswim scanners, show you how to set those up, and then show you a few other little scanners that I like to use. So let's hop right into it. And the first one we're going to do is the pre-market scanner that I use to find the stocks to make my watch list every morning. So we're going to start out, you, you, it would be a blank page probably if you're new and starting out. But we're just going to go to add filter and you can click here, you can click here. Either way, but we're going to go to stock. Because we're trading stocks. We're going to go to the last. Last is the last price the stock will be when the scan happens. And I like to scan for stocks between the price of 50 cents and $15. So we have that in there. We can scan that and we can see what pops up. So we got a whole lot of stocks right here. One thing you do want to do before you finish your scan out is you make sure this is on 2000. Okay. And then I also have the scan in all NASDAQ stocks. So you click scan in all NASDAQ stocks right here. And you can also scan in NYSC stocks as well. So we, but we need more filters. This is too many stocks on this list in pre-market to try to make something with. So we got to make it even smaller, got to make our results smaller. So we're going to go to shares. I like trading low float stocks. So the lower the float, the better. Don't know what float is. It's the amount of shares available to the public to trade. So we want them to be very low float. So no minimum, the lower, the better. And then we'll put in 50 million for the max. So then we can hit scan again and see what we get. See if we get a smaller list. Nope, we still have a big list. So then we want to add one more filter. And this is the final filter I use for my stock watch list in the morning for my day trading watch list. And we're going to use volume. Volume is one of the most important things when looking for stocks to trade. You got to have volume. So in pre-market, I like to have my minimum on 500,000 and then the max all the way up because the more volume the better so we don't want to limit anything from popping up in the scan so let's hit scan now this is after pre-market so there has been quite a few stocks moving so you can see it is a pretty decent sized list but in pre-market we'd only be looking for the ones with a million in volume or close to a million you see there's a lot of them by now but it's later in the day in pre-market you usually get a list of about five to maybe 15 stocks with this scanner and then i just drag them over to my watch list and go through them and check for news any pr that may be good look at the chart patterns see there's resistance support and all that but this is the main scanner that i use and very easy to set up and once you have it set up, then you can just go up here. And up here in the, and on the right on the corner, there's a little fire looking emblem. And right beside that is three little lines. And you go to save scan. And then you can just save it however you want to, whatever name. You can name it pre-market scanner is what I have. I think I have mine uh, saved as. And then you got that. So that way every morning you'll be able to pull it up. And then you can go over here to your watch list and add it into one of your watch lists. Go to personal. And you see I have several different scanners. And then new scanner. And you can see same results and that way you can see your scanner on the side. Now the next scanner is actually scanner settings from Sways99, one of the traders in the live stream. It's kind of a momentum scanner for after pre-market and I'm going to load it up so you can see what that looks like and get those numbers so there we go so this is how the sway scanner is set up so you still have the last volume shares and then you add stock percent change so the same way you would add stock or any of these other filters it's just percent change under there and then put in your percent change and this last one is a study. So when you go to add filter, you would click on study instead of stock to get this last one. And then price change, close, and all these numbers. So if you want to set this scanner up, and I usually have it over here. 
in my side uh, bar so that way I can see if any stocks happen to be popping up right in the first 30 minutes or even if it's later in the day you can kind of look through and see is, is there something new on this scanner that's getting a lot of volume and you might be able to catch a stock before it starts ripping with this scanner so shout out to Sways99 for this scanner this is his settings for a momentum scanner it works pretty decently and you can catch some decent stocks with it alright so those were my two day trading scanners there's some scanners you can use some scanner settings you can use to find long-term investments in two uh, I like to invest in stocks that usually have dividend payments so I try to scan for those first and we're just going to do the same thing as we did with the day trading scanner we're going to go to add filter stock and let's say we're going to look for dividend stocks between five dollars and twenty five dollars all right so we got that there and then for this one you're going to go to fundamental so we have fundamental there and then i'm going to go down to dividend yield is what i usually look at and then we don't need minimum or max really because we're just looking for stocks with dividends now this should give us an idea and on my settings over here I have dividend frequency payout that's all the way over here but I'll drag it over so you can see it alright so there you can see dividend frequency click on that until it sorts it and you can see these are the stocks in this price range that pay a dividend out monthly so we could add those to a list so we will add those to my watch list we'll take out these other stocks from this morning and then we'll drag some of these over here to take a look at them and make sure the scanner is working so here we go a G N C and you can see right here on the chart we have plenty of monthly dividend payments it looks like one in May one in June yeah so this is a monthly dividend stock we don't really know anything else about it but we can do some research from here to see what the company's about look at their numbers see if they're doing well you know look back on the max chart see how long they've been paying dividends for looks like they've pretty much been paying them consistently for a while now it is on a bit of a downtrend you see so that one didn't have any dividend that one didn't have a dividend okay this one does so sometimes the scanner will pull up stocks that maybe used to pay dividends uh, I'm not sure but you can see there you can confirm it once you pull it up on the chart here and see this stock does have a dividend payment and this one does too so looking back at the scan uh, it, you can, it's hard to tell because you know it says dividend monthly and some of these stocks didn't actually have dividends but you're at least getting a list with this scanner uh, for dividends and and you can change the price if you want if you want a more low float stock you could add in the stock filter for shares and look for dividend stocks with lower floats but there's a lot you can do with thinkorswim scanners and this is pretty much all the scanners i use the two day trading scanners and then this one to find certain dividend stocks another another thing you can do you can go to intersect and you can go by industry and you can see here you got energy, materials, industrials, consumer, consumer staples, healthcare, financials, information tech, communication services, utilities, real estate. So if we want REITs, we can go right here to equity REITs. And then you can even look and pick from certain specialized REITs, diversified, industrial, hotel and resorts, office REITs, healthcare REITs, residential, retail, specialized you click those in there and scan again and look at there so with these with this scanner we're able to get a nice little list of stocks in this price range in diversified REITs you know and we have this nice little list that we can go through to try to find some good dividend stocks but yeah that's pretty much all the scanners I use if you've got a cool scanner that you think I should check out leave the settings in the comments below and I'll check it out and see how it works and see if it's a pretty good scanner. If you have any questions about any of these scanners, then leave them in the comments below as well. I'm your host, Ben. And you've been watching Framework Fortune.